Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping in today to see what I am up to. I have this box here from Sephora. So this is a little mini haul. Um, I did get the, I think the Hello, the Favorites. Yes, and then I got two other items. Let's see this. And this is just a quick little sneak peek into the box. And what we'll do is we'll do these four favorites hello first, because why not? And this is uh, $10, and this one says, they're, hello, their greatest hits, and this says color set B. I think there was set A and B, but A was sold out, so I got set B. I've been enjoying these bags very much. Some pretty good products in them. So the first thing in here, and do we get a, yeah, I think there is a little card, right? Oh yeah, it just tells you like 15% off a full size purchase from anything inside this bag. The first thing, which is always um, good, and I'll probably share this be, just because I have so many of them, the makeup eraser. So I won't take it uh, fully out, but we've all seen them. They're just little... This is just a little uh, like mini uh, makeup cloth, makeup remover cloth. These work fairly well. Uh, the next thing in here is a perfume. And this is giving me some ideas for my dossier. This is Valentino Donna. Let's see what this smells like. Hmm. I would have to spray it just to to see but that is like powdery so there's a little tiny sample that you get Let me just pop these back through and then that's what it looks like the full size beautiful full size bottle like i said floral um and i like powder i can smell a little bit of powdery scent so let's see what this is oh i forgot this was in there from tart their c brand which I am loving. This is a mascara. Uh, let's just open. Let's open this and see. I love, I love sample size mascaras because then I can have several open and try them versus a full one. So that's this. I'm going to open this because I might start using this one next. Oh, that's a pretty big wand right there. I don't know why I smell mascara, but sometimes you get, they're just overly alcohol smell. And I, then that's going to dry your lashes out. I don't smell that here. I can't get that back in there. So we're not going to bother. Next thing in the bag. Got, oh, oh, good products. I'm just going to take this last three out so I can stop making all this noise with the bag. The one item that I was excited to try was from Dermalogica. And this is their um, Daily Microfoliant. Tiny little thing here. Let me see what this. So what is that? Is that like a powder? Yeah, it's like a a powder, and I would assume. And then you just wet it, and there's your. I'm just trying to get it all back in. Um, I'll just be careful with that. So that's interesting. I was excited for that. That'd be great, great to take away because it's a powder, not a liquid. Oh, okay. From Fresh, the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. Nice little package. Let's see what this looks like. I know these are tiny. Their packaging is pretty. Always like it. And this is uh, a glass. No, it's plastic. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty full for a little tiny pot. And I just want to tell you, it's not this size. Because if you can, oh yeah, it's pretty much, it doesn't. Sometimes they're so indented at the bottom. So that's like a decent size. And then the last thing, which I love this um, from Amika. This is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Great travel size. I have a drawer full of these and I love having them. So between the... Um, Face cream from Fresh, the Amica dry shampoo. I'm most excited for the Dermalogica. 
the Tarte C Mascara. Valentino um, could take or leave, honestly. And then this is exciting, but I probably will share that. So that was the Hello Favorites that I got. Let me just close this stuff back up because I have some more stuff in this bag. I'm trying to get this back in there, but I'm not going to bother. So that was the favorites that I got, which I think was pretty good. But I had to get, I'm just going to take this stuff out and get rid of the box. I had to get two more of their favorites. So let's do this one first. I'm most excited for this one. This is the Sephora favorites. Give me some bomb. Oops, my phone went out. And this one was, give me some lip balm. Normally $30. It was on sale for $21. And then this um, Favorites Pop Beauty Zone was $12. So then this way I can be done with my phone prices. I don't know if you can tell from the picture. The reason I got this is there is a full-size Pat McGrath lipstick. So I figured, you know what? It's worth it. Her stuff is expensive. And it does tell you on the back the items in here. Cute little bag. You know, nice little pull great for your handbag so there's one i think five but the inner samples and then the pat mcgrath is full size which i'm excited for oh another one i can't see what this is though <laughs> tart c strawberry jelly i would assume that's a jelly glaze what are you barking for no Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't want her to start barking right in the middle of this video. She'll get out of control. So the next thing in here is from Sephora. This is their um, coconut lip balm. Look how cute that is. And it says a seal on it, but I want to open it. I don't know if I can. Use my finger there. She's going to bark again. I know it. Oh no, she like put her head. I cannot get that open. I think I need scissors, which I do have, but so let's just get the why struggle. The struggle is real. Cocoa coconut. Hmm. I love coconut. Okay. Oh. Yeah, got it. So it's a tiny little sample, but that's a lot. Oh, that's a right there. That's a lot. It's not. Oh, pure coconut. Love it. Let's just put that back. Happy to have that and throw that in my purse. So this, and I probably could read off of this. Um, so the uh, coconut lip balm, country of origin is Italy. The Tarte, uh, obviously, is made in China. Ilia, which is right here, a little tiny. This is a lip wrap hydrating mask in clear, made in the U.S. The thunder and lightning and rain here. No scent. See, now, that's where they could have put a little bit of scent. Watermelon, strawberry, a berry, coconut, anything, and that has nothing. Which is fine. I'm fine with. Oh, we're going to continue this whole drop thing. Okay. That's interesting. I like that too. And then this. I have something on my hand. Is from who? So this little tiny right here. This is from Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Of course it's all lip. And this comes from France. Uh, a lip cream okay and that does have a rose scent I mean it's not huge but I might have to be careful of that just because of the rose it's a little bit strong and you all know that this is why I bought this so this is Pat McGrath Labs uh, country of origin is Italy which is nice uh, lip fetish, divinity, lip shine, and nude. Is that what that is? I 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like. There that is. That's a beautiful color. Perfect for me. Perfect. Plus, I love the packaging. Who doesn't? Who wouldn't love that? So that was this one, which was the Give Me Some Bomb. Happy for that, too. And then the last one, I have, honestly have no idea what's in it. Somebody, I, one of you guys had said something about you got this with your points, so I figured I would get it and try it. And this is June Pop 2 on the back. So it's been out for a little bit, and I think it just slides open. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Just slides right out. See if there's a little sneak peek. So it looks like there's Beauty Zone stickers, which I will not be using. And a little card. I don't know if that is what's inside, but it's nicely packaged, almost like the Target Beauty Boxes and stuff like that. And the Walmarts. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so I think this might, might be for this. So this is from Clean Reserve. This is a fragrance brand that knows there's nothing. What? Cheekier or more desirable than sustainability. Aqua Neroli. Full size is $98. What is this? I think this is a perfume. Yup. Oh, look how cute. Let's give this a... When it's a roller... Is that a roller ball? Mmm, that smells really good. Um, fresh, clean. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. The next thing here is from DPHUE. Making nurturing products that treat your hair like the crown it is. Apple cider vinegar hair mask. Full size is $42. I know what. I don't think these are full size. So here's a hair mask. I'll probably share that. I don't do that many hair masks to warrant keeping all these hair masks that I have. Wishful, I think, is Wishful Huda. I think Wishful is Huda. Yeah, Huda Beauty. Um, am I mistaken? I thought Wishful was Huda Beauty. I think Wishful is Huda, if I'm not mistaken. Huda Beauty. So this is giving the beautiful community skincare that's clean, simple, and ready for Holy Grail status. Um, this is Yo Glow Facial Enzyme Scrub. Full size is $39. Let's see what the size of this is. I think I do have a full size of this. And that's not totally full. I mean, that's not even halfway full. That's a shame. Uh, let's, last two products, or three products. So this here, um, i trying to think. I don't think I've had this specific one. Murad, this is the Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. Full size is $32. I just think I have the cleanser. I don't think I have the Acne one. Um, right here. So this is tiny little sample. And that's full. Yeah, that's full. That's not half, half full, but that's full. That's nice. Happy to have that. And then here we have from uh, Shani Darden. Never heard of. Skincare. Uh, retinol reform full size is $88. This is sealed. So I'm going to leave it sealed. Um, happy to have retinol. Why not? And then the last one, which I didn't know was in here. We have a Huda Beauty right here. Um, this is Silk Balm Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Balm. Full size $21. I know this is not full size. But let me see if they have the little tab that you can easily open these. I don't think so. I'm trying. Yep, they do have that little tab. I'm curious. This is obviously just going to be like a shiny gloss. 
but I'm okay with that if there's any color I don't think so I think it's just that's right here it's just a gloss uh, no real color to speak of right there so I think that was pretty good beauty zone I wonder if they do these often since this has a date on it it says June Pop 2. I wonder if they do the Sephora Favorite Pops often. I'll rely on you guys to answer that question because I honestly don't know. But I think that was a pretty good box also. Uh, $12. Um, High-end brands. They're not, um, you know, like drugstore brands. So I'm happy for that. You know I love this one the best because it has the Pat McGrath Labs in it. And I am loving the favorites, the Hello um, from Sephora, and we'll continue to get that and share that with all of you. So they were the three items that I do have, plus I have 15% off if I would like to get any of them full size. Depending on the Dermalogica, the powder, the exfoliating powder, I might um, look into that. I don't want the full size mascara or really anything else full size from that bag. But I would consider the Dermalogica, Dermalogica exfoliating powder because that's easier to travel with and I think would last longer than if it was already mixed. So that's it. Tell me what you guys thought of this little mini haul from Sephora. I appreciate all of you watching and hope you have a great day. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.